Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. Christopher Manuel. Christopher Manuel needs to be brought out, correct? Uh, I'm, okay. I'm asking that because I don't know what we'll, I haven't looked. I don't know what this is all about. The motion to talk probation. Five cases? I guess it's So five cases are called 23 CR 785, 786, 787, 788, and 789. Uh, each of these were indictments for illegal possession of child pornography. The defendant was sentenced to eight years in prison on each of those cases, correct? Yes, sir. On... November 30th of last year. It has been less than six months or 180 days uh, since the uh, assessment of the Senate. The defense has filed motions to impose community supervision, stating the defendant has never previously been incarcerated and is otherwise eligible for probation. And so we are here to do uh, that. And in each of these cases, it's alleged the same. It was wrapped up in the same event, correct? Yes, sir. There were numerous victims portrayed in the images, I presume. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Schlander. Uh, and Mr. You are Christopher Wayne Manuel, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, you've heard what the court has said, and uh, your attorney yes, is present, and the state's attorney. Go ahead. Um, your name is Christopher Wayne Manuel, is that correct? Yes. Why don't you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm your other right? So, or affirm any statement you make today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth during this hearing. So help you God. Yes, sir. Lower your hand. Go ahead. You're Christopher Wayne Manuel, is that correct? Yes. And um, we filed this motion to impose community supervision or shock probation. Uh, you're aware of that, right? Yes. And all these allegations that we alleged in the motion to impose, is that right? Yes. You've never before convicted, been convicted of a felony. Yes. Yeah. Um, you've been in prison now for less than 180 days. Yes. Uh, you, you, uh, um, uh, otherwise, as far as you understand the law and everything, you're eligible for community supervision. Yes. And you haven't had any problems in prison of any consequence since you've been there, have you? Yeah. Um, are you asking the court to uh, grant your shock probation, um, representing to the court that uh, you can follow all the terms of probation, um, and uh, otherwise, um, um, at the end of that, become a, a um, useful and successful uh, um, law-abiding citizen? Yes, I am. That's been court for that today. Uh, you were, are you going to live with your folks? Is that right? Yes. They're out there in the audience um, uh, here in support of you. Or yes, they are. going to help you and make sure everything goes smooth. Is that right? Yes. Uh, you're a single man. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pre sentence report, please. I do, Your Honor. Um, I will have to have one of them printed out. So. Okay. I'll get mine. No. I just need a hard copy to look at and Refresh my memory. Thank you. I have a pin judge. Nothing on the rest of it. How long have you lived with your parents? You know, one of the hurricanes displaced me back in 2005. Since um, 2005? Yes. I was living, I was living in an apartment. And then one of the hurricanes... Um, did damage to my apartment and moved back to my family, back to my parents. And... Okay, I'm, I'm going to highlight this. 
something on this. Okay. All right. <clears throat> no, go ahead. Anything else you want to add? I know it's in the motion. You received the state's yes. received a motion. That's what we have. Uh, copied the motion. All right. Well, what's uh, state say? The state would defer to the court's wisdom on this, Your Honor. The only thing I would note was the 575 files of child pornography that he had and that it was on every single device that he owned, along with the fact that he admitted to using that child pornography to achieve sexual gratification daily uh, is of concern to me. If we were to uh, do the shock probation, I would highly suggest that we follow the treatment plan set out by probation of the the therapy that they suggest. And while on probation, if I did this, uh, I understand you would be living with your parents? Yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. And you've been living with them, though, since 05. What do you want to say? Again, I'm deeply sorry for this crime. I'm sorry for the victims. I have learned my lesson being in the system for the past five months. Um, um, this is very serious, and if you grant me probation, I will, I will do my best to do your best is not what well, is required of you, that was to follow the rules. Yeah, follow the rules, and, and never, never that's do generally that. doing the best, but everybody says they're going to do the best. And I will. How is living with your parents helping you be responsible and independent? Curious. Because you were doing this right under their noses, apparently. They didn't know, I guess. And you were pulling this off in, in their house? Yes. Mm -hmm. I will be responsible now. Sir? I will, I will be responsible now. Something else here in the pre-sentence report. It says you've been using marijuana since 16 years of age. Yes, sir. It says daily. Yes. Well, now, how is it you could be living with your parents since 2005 and them not know about marijuana, daily marijuana use? Because it reeks. How can they be trusted to be somebody that would be helping you complete probation if all of this is true? I mean, right, you're pulling stuff right under their nose, and but everybody knows what marijuana smells with, smells like. And is that right? Do they condone? Are they marijuana users or anything? How how can you pull that off for years and years without them knowing marijuana is being used daily? Can you explain that to me? I'm a smart guy. I just don't understand this. So you've been fooling them. You've been sorry. You've been fooling them with the pornography and with the marijuana use right under their nose. Yes, I have, and I'm deeply sorry for it. No. no, you're not going to qualify as the good son. I'm my best to make it up to him, sir. I will try my best. I will do my best to make it up to him. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you about the uh, victims here. 500 and some odd. How do you undo the harm to them? When a, when a uh, child pornography, which is made, when it is then used, it re-victimizes the child. Every time it is, it is seen, it re-victimizes that child. Yes. That's why it's so disturbing. And it's it's the Pandora's box that keeps on giving because there's no way you can put the genie back in the bottle on child pornography when it gets out. Those children are victimized the rest of their life. How about that? Or did you even think about that? I didn't think at the time. How can you be so selfish? How can you harm children like that? I know it happens. It happens in, in some the, people like you come in this courtroom, but it defies my imagination of thought 
that somebody could be horrific like that. And so I'm deeply sorry rather than you deeply sorry. Yes, yes, Why weren't you deeply sorry when you were doing this over and over and over again? You enjoy being deeply sorry because you, according to you, you put yourself through all kinds of hell. But you're not sorry. So, yeah. I don't believe that. So, yeah. Probation office even knows that. They say you need help because you're you've got a problem. And it is uh, it's a moral issue, but uh, you enjoy child pornography, which is pretty sick. It's not uh, proper behavior. It's antisocial personality disorder of sorts. Because it injures children. Yes. And you you apparently enjoy doing that. Changed. Say that again. So I'm changed. I will never do that again. Uh, what changed you? You got caught and got punished. Because you had a, you've been having well, a lot of time. You've been committing crimes since six. You were sixteen years of age. You, you were using marijuana daily. I mean, you're a prolific criminal. How old are you now? Forty-three. <laughs> How many years? Quarter of a century. Over a quarter of a century. You've been committing day crimes daily. And yeah. now that you've got in jail, you're always well. I don't believe that, but um, but what we're going to do is is unless you get some assistance, you're going to further be a harm to children the moment you get out of service. We all know that. That's what the two edged sword about all this is is this is why this motion is going to get granted and you're going to get the relief your attorney is asking for. Because if you don't, you'll be released. You'll be on parole. But really, there won't be much anybody can do about your antisocial behavior uh, and harm to children and marijuana use. You're going to need help with all of that. So what the court is going to do is uh, grant these... Uh, uh, motions to impose probation after you have completed 180 days in custody, which is still a waste, a little ways to go. You're going to go do as much time as you can get on a probation. Then you will be placed on probation in each of these cases for 10 years. And you uh, will be ordered, among other terms and conditions of probation, to receive uh, assistance as suggested and recommended. You will enter and complete an approved sex offender treatment program provided by a licensed sex offender treatment provider you shall not possess any printed, photographed, computer-generated images, recordings, sexually simulating or sexually oriented material involving uh, pornography. Also, a substance abuse assessment will be uh, will be made and for evaluation. And it will be determined what type of assistance you may need for your over quarter of a year daily use of uh, marijuana, which certainly be became addictive over that period of time, which was done while you were at home with your parents. Had to have known that was happening because we all know what marijuana smells like. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe you pulled the wool over their eyes for a quarter of a century. But 
fact of the matter is you're a grown up and it's you uh, are in your 40s and you're not supposed to be uh, living with your parents anyway. You're supposed to be independent. Uh, and you haven't, while you've lived with your parents, uh, done anything but commit that I know about that's good except commit crimes. One is worse crime. This is a harm to children by sexually offending. So uh, living with your parents aren't really helping you do much good. But nonetheless, you're going to be uh, placed on uh, probation and there will be those terms and conditions of probation along with other terms and conditions, knowing that you're on thin ice anyway with this. You'll be back and you can serve out the rest of your eight years if you fail. Do you understand where we are in these five cases? Yes, sir. I mean, this is, you, you've made a mess every in every direction. Now, what, your parents are here, but I don't know really what the facts are. I can just use common sense. Maybe you pull wool over them and misuse them. Which would really be a, a sin of, against nature, as well as the sin of nature in victimizing children. Shame on you. Uh, and hopefully, uh, this will help. These terms uh, will help you not harm ch other children, but. At the end of the day, it's your free will, which has failed for a long time to do the right thing. Do you understand what has happened today? Yes, sir. All right, those are the orders of the court. Thank you. That is all. Thank you.